Justin's mum was left horrified when she reached into her son's bag and found a hunting knife. My mum took me upstairs to talk to me. She, uh, she got out the knife that I had and, uh, and she said, did you take this? And I said, yes. She confronted her son and was left surprised by his reaction. He said it made him look cool because he saw other students and um, uh, uh, school kids carrying the knife because it was a trend and it, it was cool to do so. Latest figures show that the number of London school children found to be carrying knives has doubled in the last five years. A Freedom of Information request revealed that in 2011 there were just over 150 school children found to be carrying knives. In 2016, this had risen to nearly 300. With London's young people exposed to more knife crime than ever before, experts are calling for much more to be done. One of the capital's leading trauma surgeons says that by teaching children how to save lives, it could turn them away from being involved in knife crime. You have to start young with age-appropriate education, not just to instill the right mindset and the myths and realities around it, but also the value of life. First responders can make a huge difference to patient survival in time-critical emergencies. Uh, and what better thing can you think of to teach a young person in an age-appropriate way to be able to save another person's life? If we had someone, OK, let's say it's me, I've been stabbed in the arm, what do we think we'd do? Anyone Here at this school, do? Growing Against Violence, a London-based charity, is delivering a session covering first aid. They say training like this should be rolled out across the school curriculum. If it happens to anyone you know or a family member, you can help them. If they're like, stabbed in the arm, raise their arms so the blood starts, it's like going back in and staying like from dripping and then call 999 for the police and the ambulance to come. Until first aid training like this is rolled out across schools, London will rely on volunteers and charities to provide these lessons and mothers will still worry. It wouldn't surprise me if I went to Justin's uh, bag right now to find a knife. It would not surprise me at all. I expect it now. Ben Hunt, BBC London News.